more cowboy beef flop news is coming out and it's not good this is actually before i get to the main part i want to talk about this is actually from last year 2020 john Cho discusses playing spike siegel in a live action cowboy bebop series we've got to keep it strange that's his quote anyway this is the part right here he was talking with ign now remember this was in 2020 and he noted that they did not communicate with original series director Shinichiro Watanabe regarding his portrayal of the iconic bounty hunter, but assured IGN that he kept the tone of the original anime in the forefront of his mind during production. And then Cho says, we did not communicate, but uh, we're not done. But it's really cool. It's such a unique piece of material. It's got such a unique vibe. It's got so many disparate elements coming together into a single project. It's so weird. And he goes on about all that kind of shit. Yeah, I think that was the big thing I was focusing on all the time was we got to keep strange and that's hard to do, but I've watched some of the stuff and I'm really happy with it. Okay, well, if it's got such a unique vibe and it's, it's a unique piece of material, then why the hell wouldn't you talk to the original director? Why in the hell would you not want him involved in it? You know, fucking Christ. I mean, what the hell? You know, you think, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll just do it the way we want and the hell with it. Anyway, and the reason I had brought that up is because Cowboy Bebop creator Shinichiro Watanabe unsure if Netflix will listen to his feedback on live action adaptation. I have no choice but to hope but to pray and hope that it will turn out good. Now this is from a recently resurfaced interview that was in Yeah, you know, this is from a 2019 interview with Japanese pop culture news outlet Oda Quest, co-founder Taku Takahashi. It was recently brought back to public attention courtesy of YouTuber Hero 8 in which the two discussed his team director's past portfolio and his various upcoming projects. He talked about, well, right here is when um, they asked him about the Blade Runner Black Lotus animated series. But here's the important part. They asked him, well, okay, the work on Carolyn Tuesday was too hectic and I'm only loosely involved in a new Blade Runner series. With a bitter smile. I provided my opinions on the early concept. That's about it. The directors are Kaniyami, or Kamiyami and Aramaki. So I left my expectations with them. He was then asked if the arrangement was the same with the live action Cowboy Bebop, to which he confirmed, that's right. I read the initial concept and provided my opinions, but I'm not sure if they will be reflected in the final product. And they, he was also, then he was asked as a follow-up, as the original creator, how would you feel if what you saw in the original scenario pitch and what was broadcast differed? He said that would leave a sour taste in my mouth. However, for example, when transitioning a manga to an anime, if the original author speaks out on various points and makes the work for the anime staff, and it won't necessarily make it a good product. Then he concludes his thoughts. That's why I have no choice but to pray and hope that it will turn out good. You know, and then it says also for Cowboy Bebop, I don't have any right to stop it. He subsequently clarified those rights are in the hands of Sunrise, so if you have a complaint, please send it to them. Which is, <laughs> you know, yeah. But it's complete and utter bullshit that the original guy behind it hasn't been consulted you know and it's according to the to the store you know he, he probably talked to a few of the you know pas or something like that or perhaps you know maybe even had a meeting with the director or something i don't know but uh john cho who is the star of it and stuff and who seems to be the only guy out of the, the cast that we've seen so far who actually seems to fit the role at least somewhat anyway but he didn't mention any involvement from the original director like what the what the hell what are you guys doing you know it's like you're just calling it cowboy bebop and it's going to be like a fan-made video almost because the original guy is not involved is not involved so like what the hell you know like just serious i mean i know i keep saying that, i keep repeating it because i'm trying not to go on a you know an expletive laden rant because it's just it's just it's fucking stupid it's just fucking stupid to not have the original guy involved this is his vision now if he had come out and he had changed his mind about certain things or if he was like well no phase outfit needs to be changed or whatever that that's one thing but for these fucking people to do that to go you know not at all talking to the original director that's bullshit it's complete bullshit cowboy b-flop indeed anyway i'll go ahead and wrap this up here uh thank you very much for watching and have a good one